Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I want to just show you a little bit of a tool that I've been working on and uh, it's on my website that you can access and it's linked in the description below, maybe something that you want to bookmark. It's simply a aspect ratio calculator. Now aspect ratios are really something that are kind of interesting and very important in nowadays media age, so to say. And actually on that website that I'm about to show you, I also will have a collection of different aspect ratios that are useful for different media and use cases. This is a work in progress and it's something that I'm still working on and adding as I go. It's mostly a tool that I use for myself because it is something to come back to every now and then and simply something that you can use whenever you are resizing photos or you want to know what aspect ratio what what length you should make that side of your photo that side of your video depending on aspect ratio chosen so going to the screen i can show you right here the aspect ratio calculator that i programmed on my website now there are aspect ratio calculators out there my problem was always that it's hard to find them at least for me i don't necessarily like the ones that are coming up on google so this one i just made for myself and it simply works the way that you would expect it to you have your numbers for the old width and the old height and then over here it automatically ejects the new width and the new height depending on which field you are actually working with. So for example right now we have 1920 by 180 and a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Now if I were to enter a 18 here then you can see the new height automatically is calculated if i switch over to the new height and i enter 9 here then you can see automatically the new width is calculated and now once i change any setting on the here then it actually would change the settings over here the green one is always the one that is going to be updated automatically and you can change that by entering a value into the green field and then it automatically jumps back to the other mode so what you can do here is, let's say you want to try this completely new uh, aspect ratio for YouTube and you don't know what to set your video for. And that simply can be done by entering, let's say one, no, it's a two by one. That's the aspect ratio of many modern uh, YouTube videos nowadays and also um, mobile phone screens. And let's say you have a width of 1920, that would give you a height of 960 pixels. Down here, what you can also see is that it actually tries to give you the closest full fraction of that calculation. And right now that would be two to one, which would exactly be the one over here. But it also works if I make it 20 to 10, for example, you see that it also comes down to two to one. And you can see down here, you also have an example of what that would look like. Now going back to the 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080, you can see that you get a 16 by 9 aspect ratio over here and a decimal from 1 to 1.7777 and below you actually also get an example of what that aspect ratio would look like. So once I actually enter different values here, let's say I switch those around, you can see that a 9 by 16 would be the vertical version of that or the portrait mode version. You can also have this round result to nearest full number uh, activated or deactivated. Basically, it would mean if I deactivate this and I enter something a little weirder here, that it actually would show something with a comma value back here. However, if I click this, you can see that it just rounds that number to that nearest full pixel, so to say. And I think that that can be quite helpful because we can't really use those comma values in Photoshop and similar applications. Other things on that page, basically there's just a very simple explanation. There are the formulas that are used behind the scenes for this and below that I am starting to kind of collect the different aspect ratios and pixel numbers that are used for different social media platforms and different uh, use cases. Right now I specifically have Instagram on here with the photo post, the video post, story and IGTV so that I can just simply check for myself which one should be posted in which format or supports which format. Of course there's always the recommendation for Instagram posts to actually post in portrait mode that is for IGTV videos as well as on your normal feed because those actually take more screen real estate when someone is scrolling through a hashtag or through their own feed where they see the newest posts that they follow. So using more screen real estate actually makes people stop longer, look at their photo and notice them better instead of having just a very small post uh, in a landscape format. One of those 1.91 by 1 for example that is not necessarily something that I would recommend posting ever. 
Below that, I also have some resolutions for aspect ratios from filmmaking. This is a work in progress. Some of these are completely not really set up yet, uh, and I'm still looking into it to make those numbers work out nicer. And uh, that, again, is a work in progress. But the most important part is the top part right here, the simple aspect ratio calculator that you can use to resize videos or photos or for any kind of calculation that you might want to do in this manner. If you find videos and tools like these helpful, please let me know in the comments below. I might make more of these. I actually already have one other one, which is called Instaspaces. And as you can see on the screen right now, it very simply is a tool where you have a text file row over here. And you can also check out the tutorial video that I've done on YouTube over this. And once you do this, you can see that there are paragraphs. However, the problem is that usually Instagram actually removes these paragraphs and makes it kind of hard. And many people post these things with dots in between and those things. This actually takes care of all of this. You simply post your text into it, click the make white spaces and with that the tool actually takes care of these empty spaces. It puts invisible characters there and then you can just copy this to your clipboard and use it in your Instagram description. This is a very useful tool if you want to write more longer text form in your Instagram description and want to make sure that you actually have a paragraph. Now again, if you find tools like these helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And of course, any questions as well, I will be happy to answer those in the future and also make more videos about things like this if the demand is there. All of that said, I hope you have an amazing day, make it your life and just use all the tools that you can get. Ciao, ciao.